for joining us. I am Liran Brahma. We're looking at government's performance in the last year in government. My guest today is the Minister of Tourism, Industry and Commerce, Onej Wadron. Minister, thank you very much for joining us. How are you? I am great. Thank you, Lee. Thank you very much for having me. Oh, it's a pleasure. Always a pleasure to have to have you in, to, to, to have a conversation. But before we actually get into the review, I mean, it's been a year already. It's, it's almost yeah. as if you just started yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> in some respects, yes. In yes, some respects. Been a whirlwind, yeah. How has it been for you over the past year? And this is you from a personal perspective. This is not you or oh, the work. This is yes. just how have you, how have you been? As you know, I am. Um, I was plucked out <laughs> and in this, and it's it's been exciting. It has been um, quite a learning experience, but it has been um, it rewarding, and I am. You know, I'm just happy that it's now starting. You know, and it's. Um, but the year has been quite a learning experience. It's been quite a learning trajectory for me. Personally, um, I don't think anything really prepares you for this kind of um, job. And it is, um, you realize that you pull on every single part of your experience, work experience and personal experience to make this happen and to do um, this job. But I have had a tremendous supportive um, cabinet colleagues, a supportive boss, which is the president, and um, learned a lot. And they've always been there to... Um, to lend some advice and help in hand. So it's been, um, it's been really a great um, experience for me so far and more so in how teamwork makes, makes everything better. So I, mean, I don't work. feel like I'm alone. Yes, ah. that, that <laughs> I'm carrying this alone. It's really truly a, a, a team effort um, from the aspect of my ministry, the ones who work um, in the ministry, the public servants and my cabinet colleagues who give me that, um, yeah, that support. So it has been great. It has been great. Yeah, I can't say that it felt like an entire year has passed. felt like just yesterday. Let's talk projects. The tourism sector, and, and, and you came into government just around the time of the lockdown and, and the COVID pandemic, yes. and your sector would have been tourism, industry, and commerce would have yes. been affected by it because pretty much nothing was moving around that time. Yes. Um, what have you done? What would you say would have been the major strides or steps taken to revive or re-energize the sector and, and bring it back uh, to a place of respectability or comfort, if you want to put it that way at this stage within the past year? Um, yes, indeed. When I took um, office, the tourism sector was at an absolute standstill. There was no um, sense of direction, what we do next, how do we um, recover, uh, how do we survive, even more so recover. And um, immediately, we, as the government, we have taken steps to, to um, train and, and to help, especially our interior hinterland locations and um, tourist operations to um, help them to, um, with with training to reopen and how they can reopen safely and how they can um, maybe be develop a sanitization and um, protocols and a handbook so they can they equip with the education and when people go to a location and how to keep themselves safe and their visitors safe and um, we donated the hinterland um, in the Rupununi, north, south, and central Rupununi, we donated to the lodges the um, necessary tr equipment that is needed for sanitization and um, the PPP equipment, um, washing, um, and all of the liquids that are needed to run a safe facility. And um, the, uh, that has really helped in terms of promoting and marketing Guyana during the COVID time as, as some place that you can come that is safe. And so what has happened is that they have seen some activity. And even during the COVID, because our tourist product is marketed to small groups, which is what COVID um, has taught us that we should stay in our bubble, uh, small groups so we're not transmitting, it's not mass, um, it's, it's not crowds, right. it's your small group and you're in wide open spaces. And with the training and the support that we've been able to give them in terms of keeping sanitized, keeping the rooms um, healthy, and um, training the staff, 
all of that support government has given, they were able to at least resume some uh, economic activity during the COVID with their small spaces. So that has been a success story in that it has not been, a, uh, they've been able to quickly um, be revitalized. Um, of course, it's not there at 100% yet because every now and then you get uh, rises of the, the COVID and so we have to scale back. But they are able, because they've been equipped with the knowledge and how to run a safe, a COVID safe facility, they are, most of the lodge, all of the lodges have been able to recover quickly from when they, if there is an outbreak. And we continue to give them support and we, um, they are constantly being inspected by the, by the tourism authority under our, under my ministry and the, the inspection and they're given certification so they make sure that they continue to maintain those, those protocols. And that has gone a far way in marketing Guyana as a safe um, tourist destination. In fact, the, one of our videos in, at a, under the um, theme of safe travel won first place. It's a worldwide, it had uh, thousands of, um, of submissions and Guyana's video won first place because of our initiatives that we've taken. Because safety is everybody's concern yes. and that's how people, people will be willing to travel and come to experience and, and to um, take part in our tourism because they know it's safe and that is where um, we have been heading. Moving okay. in a safe and enjoyable direction at, yeah. at, at this stage, <clears throat> I beg your pardon. Looking at persons coming in to experience this, are you satisfied with the numbers of persons taking up given the pandemic at this point? And are you strengthening your efforts, of course, uh, to target more areas to say, hey, Ghana is open, you guys can come and we've got a safe space in which you can, you, you, you can relax and move we around. Are During this COVID period, like I said, when we got, uh, when I took up this um, appointment, there was no sense of direction of the tourist industry. How are we, where are they going? And so quickly we've been able to, um, to instill, reinstill in the um, in 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 our sector that we are interested in and and we are determined that you will recover and that we will recover better than ever. So during this time we've been taking um, during this COVID time that has been a time to really reset. We we have launched several other um, tourism products, several tours, um, reopened and um, more areas for community-based tourism, Murakabai, and, and we have had, and, and other hinterland areas. And so we continue to do the work to, to make sure that Guyana re maintains its title as the number one ecotourism destination. And in fact, Forbes magazine um, recently has named Guyana one of the, the coveted places to travel after the pandemic. And uh, by the airports being open, and like I said, our particular ecotourism product is geared for, is COVID ready because it's wide open spaces and because it's small groups. We are not the cruise ship kind of tourism, the, 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 the 24,000 room hotels. We are not the, you know, the crowded beaches. No, we are small bird watching, fishing. You go with your group, you go in your bubble and so they, you remain safe, the visitor is able to remain safe, and, and the, um, of course the service staff is able to remain safe as well. So this time has been a, a time to really uh, relook at how our product, rare tourism products can be better. We have developed tourism and established tourism communities in every single region because Guyana is beautiful, every single inch of Guyana is, and every region we've been able to um, established tourism committees so they can identify the areas in their communities that can be used to bring, um, attract visitors and attract tourists. And of course, that means attracting jobs and attracting um, the um, employment for the, the local peoples. And so that has been a great initiative that is um, really caught on. We are doing product developments in, in all different regions, Parima, Region 5, we are, and there are so many other areas that we are, have um, regions that have ex expressed interest in developing tourism products. So it's been, in the short time, there has been a re an excitement, a revitalization of, of, uh, of 
interest in their tourism. Of course, you know, when we came into um, when we came appointment within a, a month or so, we sent out expressions of interest for branded hotels, which is what we need to augment the our tourism um, offerings because there's right. people need to place to stay and most people want to stay in places that they recognize are recognizable brands and already we've turned sod on four of those hotels and in another two and a half years you will be seeing branded hotels across the across Guyana and that has been a direct achievement of, of this government initiative we have offered them um, in the expression of interest incentives for these branded hotels and we got over 30 expressions of interest from different Myatt, the Hyatts and the Best Westerns and the Hiltons and we've uh, we've seen the sod turning for another Marriott at the, at the airport right. we've seen the sod turning of a Hilton uh, not a Hilton a Best Western so it's it has been an exciting time and it's um, it's quite an achievement that we have already seen movement in in um, in terms of our capacity to entertain and, and guests and people want to have, you know, proper, you know, room and board that is of international standard and that is what we'll be able to provide in a few short years. Investment yeah. is key. It's critical. It's coming in at this point. Uh, we've done a pretty good synopsis of, 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 of what has happened in, in, in the last year and of course you're projecting to two and a half to three years, all of these um, completed or near completion. Uh, as we wrap in the immediate future, in the short term future, what is your vision for your ministry? What is your vision for your sector? Yes. Well, Lee, you know, to, it, to, it's not just tourism, that is, um, it's industry and commerce that is um, under my portfolio. And uh, the entire ministry as a whole is to, you know, the, the commerce and, and, and business is to make the ease of doing business um, to alleviate the burden on, on, on investors and, and even, um, you know, Guyanese in their day-to-day -day running. So we have the single window business, um, single windows for trade, where you're able to do a one-stop shopping if you want to do all of your import and export. And um, the Small Business Bureau, we continue to push for the small business um, to, to undergird our small business. And we have, a, um, we have a set the 20% set aside for our small businesses to be able to thrive. Be, and, and they're not you know, more and more we're bolstering our small business because they're the ones that really drive and the, the economy and um, so there have been uh, hundreds of grants already given uh, over 135 million already disbursed for, um, small business grants not that includes the 25 million of COVID relief grants we've been able to give our small businesses re, um, relief grants and so that is we continue to um, undergird our small business while we open and, and lay a foundation for investment, general investment, and for business to be able to, people be able to come to Guyana and um, the Guyanese who are here to be able to conduct their business um, with ease. And we continue to do that work. Yeah. Thank you very much, Minister. In that synopsis, you've given me everything I needed to hear at this point in time. I'd just like to say best wishes going forward. And I hope that you continue to reap the rewards, the benefits of, of this job that you're doing. Thank you very much, Lee. Thank you very much. Thank you. That was Minister of Tourism, Industry and Commerce, Onage Waldron, reviewing uh, her ministry's performance over the past year. I am Lee Ron Brummel. Thanks very much for joining us and do remember to be safe.